Hi. I'm uh, the the Yisk man. This is Cry for again. It's Cry for. Yeah. He he ran Messenger. Exactly. And because it's a ninja game as well. It's the this is basically the Messenger. So <laughs> I figured Cry for here could let you all know about it. So since we didn't meet the the hard mode incentive, which is very sad, and the estimate's 35 minutes, I'm gonna play with the savant knife because that's funny. So is it harder? It, it's it's harder, but it's faster. But I'm bad. Right. There. So let's let's do it. So uh, <laughs> do hard mode anyway. <laughs> I hope I'm not on hard mode. So I'm gonna start time whenever I click the button. So I'll count us down. So it's like five, four, three, two, one, go! Hey, hey! Welcome to uh, Katana Zero. It's a game about I don't even know anymore. A ninja, I guess. Yeah, you 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 do some things like rolling and uh, and slicing. slashing. Yeah. And we actually met the pet the cat incentive, which is probably the best incentive. Ow. I'm not used to the knife. So we're gonna pet the cat a bunch. Hey, a pet the cat. Optimal cat petting. And now the cat runs away. Aww. Hope it was <laughs> too much petting going yeah. on. Yeah. So there's lasers as well. So there are lasers, you roll through them and get like eye frames. And uh the host requires to know. Does the cat have a name? Yeah, if not, they it's can Bob. Help. It is not Bob. <laughs> Let's just call it whatever. So um, the knife has some special properties like having no range and rolling further and going faster, and uh, that's that's why it's funny. I guess. Oh, that's funny. See, I died, and that's not intended. So if you die, it resets the whole room. Yeah, so y your goal is to kill every enemy in the room and then you just you just win. <laughs> you just win. Hey, I did Sweet. it. So that's factory, that's the first stage. There are like 11 of them. Why are there like 11 stages in most of the games I run? I don't know, but... That's factory, this is hotel. It's got a pun in the name, because it's... It's called Murdower, but when you enter the, 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 the lobby... The O and the W are like broken on the sign so it says murder hotel. I see. And you're killing people. Obviously. So it's 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 a good joke. Clever joke. Yes. So this introduces throwables. They're like really good. That's all you need to know about them. Okay, so I see you could parry enemy shots as well. Yeah, or so like you, reflect them either? You can parry strikes, you can deflect bullets, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. Okay. And they're slow motion, but like... Why would you use that that's slow? So we don't... Sure. Oh, no. So yeah, um, the knife has way shorter range. I think I mentioned that. Yeah. And I'm not used to that, so... It's gonna be fun. It's It'll fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Sure. It's just a funny meme to run the knife category. I see. So I'm doing it. So this is, uh, ooh, it's club. club. You can see it's a nightclub, and like, this is the only level in the game where you cannot slash. And there's a fun skip you can do here called, it's stupidly named Baba Booey, and wow, I missed it. I'm, all right, let's just start, stop being bad. So it's, it's called Baba Booey, and how it works is that you jump over the last guard, and before he sees you, you enter the door so that you, like, don't get spotted. Like that. And you save some time because you don't have to wait for him to turn around. And that's the that's the good... Yes. So actually, for people not familiar to this game, in the top right corner you can see ah. a timer. Because the devs were kind enough to put a speedrun mode in it, right? Yes, you are correct. Wow. What is... Th okay. Yeah, that worked. So the speedrun mode is actually great, and the developer for this game is fantastic, and I would recommend everyone pick this game up, because it's just a great game casually. But 
originally there were like 30 minutes of cutscenes. Oh. And the run is like 20 minutes if you're good, which I'm not. So, but the run is like 20 minutes. Were you able to skip them initially as well, or like? No, and that's the that's so the had to watch that's the bad always. thing. <laughs> you have to watch the cutscenes. Uh, how has this art? It worked. Nice. So yeah, the short range of like uh, the, the knife is giving me some trouble, but it's fine because adaptability. Exactly. The music is also really good in this game. The music is an absolute banger. Like it's up there in the music. Yeah. Not quite Undertale levels, but still banger. This is prison, also known as uh, yeah. Sour, please in chat, exactly. Also known as keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? <laughs> Look at all this blood. Yeah, these guys are dead. It's not not even my fault this time. Yeah. So prison is supposed to be the sort of stealth level of the game because stealth. That's not designed well. So we don't do stealth because it's slow. Okay, so we're so just but, but technically you could hide in shadows, I guess? Yeah, you can hide but in like the cells and stuff and walk past everyone and you places. get a reward if you do it. Okay. So is there actually like a, a peaceful run category for this? No. no. Probably not because you have to kill enemies yeah. at certain screens anyway. Because this is the only level where you can actually okay. skip yeah. killing enemies. Sadly. Or no, there's actually one more stage. Which is, yes. What am I saying? There's one more stage that's coming up, but I'm not going to do that first. So here's Studio. It's it's sort of special because it's split up into three paths. And uh, you can choose where out. to go first for the run, or yeah. So you, it doesn't matter where you go as long as you don't do like stupid orders. Okay. But I'm not going to do stupid orders. This is like that's a safety strat because knife. Yeah. So yeah, I do space first, because it's obviously the superior option. <laughs> um, I'm also the only runner that does space first, I think. So, yeah. Ow. Let's just do that safely. Oh yeah, I so forgot to mention, but welcome to my casual playthrough of Katana Zero. Because that's basically what this is. So um, I noticed there's a bunch of things you can throw at the enemies as well. Pickups. Oh yeah, I like the Molotov. The, the Molotov is, is good. Why am I still dying? <laughs> All right, the Molotov is really good because it explodes and like kills several enemies. Yeah. Uh, could I not get stuck in this room for five years? That would be great. So it likes bam, kill those guys. And it's 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 good, but it's also bad sometimes because it can kill you. Oh, you oh you can hit yourself with it as well. Yeah, because if you couldn't, would it really be a game? Well, this is we're not going back to the elevator because we need we need to pick up three key cards from the three floors. I see. So that was. And we just got the yellow one. Yeah, so that's called space because uh, it's called. It's a 2001 Space Odyssey reference. Uh. So we're like, yep, it's, it's space. Oh. That strat looks a lot harder than it is. You just, like, sort of spam roll and you click the button. And most of the time you don't die, and sometimes you do actually die. Sometimes you don't die. Yeah, sometimes. That sounds reasonable. Hopefully it's most of the time. Yeah. And this that was quiet because it's a it's a Silent Hill reference. Yeah. And this is Oh yeah, the minecart. Yeah, it's the minecart level. It's called Doom. So are you going to save the frame? Am I gonna save the frame? Yes. <laughs> or I mean do you want me to? You can save a frame here if you yeah. jump right here. You can save the like two hey. frames. That, that's that's uh, another strat that has a stupid name, so I'm not even going to mention it. But you jump over them, and then the minecart kills them, and that's... It's optimal, because uh, you don't have any risk of dying. But yeah, this... 
this is just an auto scroller, so you can like mess around. You can jump here if you want. You can like jump out and hover a bit if that's your kind of style of playing. That's your jam. So you always catch this cycle. I forgot to mention this, but the dev was kind enough to give us a set seat mode for speedrun. So all the rooms are actually always the same. Oh, okay. Which is really nice for like speedrunning. So in, in not speedrun mode, the, that's not the case. Yeah, so back in the day, which was like a couple months ago maybe, because the game's not that old. Oh, okay, I didn't go down. I'm trying to do a weird strat here. Like, I'm trying to improv it, but it's not working very well. Because the game auto-aims, so me trying to actually throw it at like a certain spot doesn't do anything. Oh. And I'm dying. Could I stop that? Oh, I actually got him that time. Damn. So that's what I wanted to do. Nice. And that's uh, that's almost studio on. This is V. He's like the bad guy. You oh, would know bad. about him if uh, the game had cutscenes, but it doesn't. So this is this is a quick fight. You just stand in this corner and you just do slash, slash. Miss that slash, because why not? And uh, then you slash. Excuse me. There we go. And he's dead. Easy. Easy. That's studio. That was nice. a bad time for studio. <laughs> Back in the day a couple months ago, yep. Yep, that's uh, old news, pal. Get with the times. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. There we go. There. That's almost like you, what you did in the messenger run, where you just jumped off the wall and like slashed. Yeah. yeah. Almost. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, what? What? I think my. Ah. Uh, what? Okay. I did it. You did it. So, smokes happened earlier, but smokes are really good, and that's all you need to know about them. I'm gonna do this because I'm bad. So there we kill that guy with the door. Then we just jump up here. Hopefully, don't get shot by that guy. Uh, gonna reset here to get a cycle. I'm gonna miss that completely. Uh, jump up there. Oh no. Let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. Alright. Gonna... Nice. I forgot to mention this, but I'm actually using two roll buttons, because I'm weird. So I've got roll launch both shift and S, but S is also the key that drops you down. So... If you ever see me just drop down some floors, then that is why. I didn't intend to do that, but we can just pretend I did. <laughs> Dying's an intended mechanic. So we're gonna just light this on fire preferably. Alright, I died there. You didn't see it, but I was gonna die, so I just reset. Saved some time. And we're gonna actually light that on fire so they explode. And coming up is the, the, the one glitch of the run. Known as replay skip. It saves like three seconds and it requires some really good mashing. And so if the on the first frame of that replay starting to play, if you Skip it. You skip the replay. Shocking, right? I see. It's actually a name that fits for once, which is uncommon Surprising. for this game. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have that. <laughs> so this is Axeman or Kissy Face, whatever you prefer. He's got an axe, and he is not some tentacle octopus man. That's an executioner's hood. Ah, I see. That made me... I, I didn't know about that for the longest time, but... He's dead. He's dead now, sadly. Hey, he's driving. So now, this is the, the motorcycle segment, which is... widely regarded as the worst part of the game. By because. me. Okay. Because? Because, uh... This is one of the few bits of RNG that's left. Nice. Because of, uh... What's it called? The delay between their shots are different depending on your luck. I missed the cone skip there. I can explain that later. But the 
timing between the shots are different, so sometimes they shoot fast and you can save some time. Sometimes they don't shoot at all. Sometimes they shoot too fast and kill you, so it's like... You can't really predict it. So every time that save icon pops up in the bottom right, I can reset and save some time because the men like the screen starts scrolling. That was found pretty early actually, which is shocking. Is it also random where the enemies show up in this uh, section? Or? No, they always show up in the same place, okay. so I'm sort of used to it. Cone skip is a strat that was found really recently where you just... For some reason, the game doesn't start loading the next area until after all the objects have left the screen. So if you like knock the codes, cones off the screen, you save some time. This is the helicopter fight with the, the blue hair guy in the... Oh, yeah. You remember that guy who was a cakewalk? Yeah. This fight is actually awful because the hitboxes don't line up. Oh, I see. So we're, if we reset, we always get the same cycle. He's going to do the machine gun attack. So you go down to the bottom is what I do. You deflect the bullets. Then he's gonna do this, and you deflect the bullet, and then you just uh, go left, and you hope he doesn't, he doesn't hope you don't die, and then you do the same thing again, and go to the left of the screen because the screen doesn't stop scrolling to the helicopter until you're like out of the screen, and that saves a bunch of seconds. So this is Chinatown. It's got probably the best music in the game. At least in my opinion, it's just listen to it, I guess. Jumping is hard in this game. So that's the main difference in Messenger, where jumping is actually easy, yeah, like, jumping at least initially. Yeah, jumping isn't actually hard in this game, it's just like... Wait, uh... What am I doing? I'm doing this? Excuse me. Ah... Uh, it's just that the knife gives me such short range and I'm not used to it. There we go. That took longer than it should've. And the, the jump range is based on your slash range, so you can oh. actually, like, you cannot jump at all with the knife. Which makes the game a lot harder. But you can roll further and it's a meme, so... Okay, so I guess you... So it's got sort of a trade-off. If you're yeah. good at the knife, which I'm not, you could maybe potentially save some time. Then we're gonna just wait until those guys walk and then we're gonna throw a Molotov at them, because auto-aim. I don't know why auto-aim is a thing. I mean, I know why, but I don't know why. That was... That was not my fault. Yeah, Let's you just probably wanted to, like, punch the drone into them. Exactly. I want to punch that drone yeah. so that there happens so I can do that. Nice. This game's really weird to play with the knife when you're used to the sword. Yeah, I can imagine. I somehow hit that shield guy from the front. That's not common. Please hit. Alright, so one, two, throw both, and then slash that guy. The screen we're gonna reset at the start because that lets that makes that guy walk down. Now we're gonna do this is the old strat because I I haven't learned the new strats where you just do some things. Ow! This room is really weird and like has a weird sipping bug where when you touch the smoke you start sipping through the enemy's positions. Ow! And uh, that it's not really intended. Dying's not intended either. I should stop doing it. Hey, I got it. There we go. So now it's the, the dragon level, which doesn't change with any of the knives or anything. Any of the swords. So we get this ability, which is broken, so you can dash like long distances. And sometimes you don't do that, but most of the time you do. Imagine my heart. Yeah. Yeah. So here we reset, save some time on walking. Uh, oh god, I don't remember the route for this room, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the world record holder, it's like... What is the route for this room? What even is a route? What even is a route? 
I'm just gonna improv it and hopefully that works out. So with this character, do you actually also have the knife now, or do, does it have a... No, he's yeah. always got his... it's his called sword. the Wave Sword. But it's just commonly known as the Dragon Dash. And it's uh, it's a dash. But it's technically, in the game, it's called Wave Dashing. Okay. Because every game needs Wave Dashing, right? Obviously. Obviously. But this is Slaughterhouse, it's like the third last level, and it introduces some crushers that are like cycles and it also introduces this camera which we're gonna ignore which basically means that the boss of this place who's a sniper or something doesn't know we're here and we save a bunch of time oh that guy goes up here excuse me thank you we're gonna kill those guys uh here we're gonna just hit this and we're gonna just keep rolling it's lift biscuit like me to plug an incentive? I yeah. Can do that. Hell yeah, do uh, it. Do you know what the next incentive coming up is? No, I did, do not. It's Delta Root. Oh? Uh, really? Yeah, the next Who one. Who the thought? Yeah, the pacifist route and also secret boss. You can make that happen if what? you wish to. What's a Delta Root though? Uh, someone please explain. Well, some say it's an anagram of Thunder Oh, really? I didn't know that. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. That's really clever. Yeah, I'd say that too. Is it made by the same guy? Uh, it's made by someone who has an anagram on Toby Fox. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's also pretty clever. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I think everyone should look forward to that. Oh. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna do the, the, there's a safe route for this room. And I'm gonna do that, because I'm, as you can see, not popping off. I'm thankful for the 35 minute incentive. Uh, <laughs> estimate. Estimate, yeah, because uh, for a normal all stages run, I'd submit at uh, 20 minutes, which is pretty safe because my PV is like 17. But uh, the knife is obviously not normal. Obviously. So, we're not going over estimate. Estimate's still 35. We're, we're fine. I'm having fun with memes. This is fine. <laughs> Thanks. It is. <laughs> I, all right, I'm gonna do the the slow two cycle here, cause why not, right? Yeah. Here resetting seems like some time, but I I don't think I did. I don't know. I didn't. It didn't look like it. So here you just. Die. Let me just do this room, and then I can start like being. A, yeah, you just do this out. There's a fun bug here, if you get hit, you can actually crash the game. Which is really, you know, funny. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're on PV base, I guess. Especially if you're speedrunning. So good thing Tricro's not here, right? Because otherwise the game would crash. Yeah. I throw the bomb to the left there, because... Uh, there that an enemy there. There is an enemy there, and uh, you kill him off screen. And that's like the fastest route or something. Here we're just gonna roll under the camera so we skip all of the like intended things of the rooms. What's the donation goal to crash the game? Um two thousand dollars. Hurry up. If you can get an easy goal of two hundred dollars, we can uh, <laughs> crash this game. Also, this is... out of you know the pacifist through all the secret boss, which would you actually prefer for Dilra? Uh I mean the secret boss is cooler. So make sure you get that eighty dollars for the yeah. uh, pacifist route. You have like two hours to get that pacifist route. So this is this is bunker. Its entire gimmick is that you go down with elevators, and it's like seamless transli transitions in one long level. But it's uh, it's just like ten stages, and yeah. then you're done. So at the start of every room, you're gonna see him resetting because. When you see that save icon, you can reset, and that opens the door immediately instead of having to wait for like a small timer. Gonna do like a bit of a safer strat here. Because, once again, knife. I yeah. don't know what I'm doing with the knife, but it's funny. This is Bunker 8, it's the hardest room of the game. Got wow. it. Yep. Good job. Thanks. I have that the looks really difficult. It is. I have the IL world record for that room. And no, that's not a meme. We have we have a community sum of best board, and I've got the IL world record on that specific stage. Could I kill that guy, please? 
What, wait, what's my strat here? I, I forgot. This apparently. Okay. I'm gonna try to remember what to do here. I'm sorry, people who are watching, watching, and like, I'm sorry to the organizers for accepting this. <laughs> Because this is a train wreck, but it's funny. Because knife. It's fine. Uh, also, the music is great. So. Also, the music is great. All right, you know what? More, but... You've seen casual strats. This is this is peak performance casual strats. Let's go. When I say that, I prefer not to die. So we're gonna throw there, and then we're gonna do that. Haha. -ha. Gonna jump up, go to the elevator. That uh, ooh. Next year get a different guy. <laughs> yep, I for once I actually agree with the hecklers. <laughs> Oops. Oh they killed themselves. Nice. They did. This is the final stage of the game now. It's uh called Bunker 2. Creative, I know. Very creative, yeah. So it's uh it's shockingly enough, it's a continuation of bunker. That was a mistake. That was also a mistake. I thought I killed that guy, but I didn't. So this stage is infamously really easy for everyone but me. And I hate it, so... It sort of explains why I've got my own strats here of like, baiting them up and stuff. I, sh I stop. There we go. Look, I did it. Yay! Hopefully I go under 30 minutes, because that would be really embarrassing if I did. Not going under 20 minutes is also pretty embarrassing. So what happened there was I thought I uh, I thought I could deflect the shotgun guy's bullets, but I couldn't. Because I was... I don't know, I didn't think straight. Oh, that's the wrong way to go. Actually... So you're seeing me reset here, that's because I'm messing up. As per usual, you know? Like, is it really Katana Zero if you don't mess up? So here is the weird shot where you deflect the first bullet to get the shield guy down here. Which lets you do this. Ow. It lets you get shot here. Excuse me. Please. Alright, thanks. Let's see. Oh, it would be so cool if I could get this room first try because it's actually one of the harder and cooler rooms in this run. But no. We're gonna do this. We're gonna like go down here and do that. And then we're gonna just toss that. Nope. We're gonna toss that and not mess up. Yeah. So this is the final boss. That's nice. uh, Headhunter. Doesn't show up anywhere in the game, but the dev confirmed that that's the name. So that's the name. And uh, it's. First stage of Headhunter here is just uh, one of those. Ah, the, the the minion rush. You see, like this is very different. Or on. Want, uh, I mean, the run's focus. almost over, so yeah, I... Yeah, just have a fun time. Yeah, I'll tell you when it's time to stop, and you could, like, plug some things, yeah? Yeah, of course, no worries. Yeah, I'm not worried. So this is very different on hard mode, which is why you can see that I'm doing some really dumb things, like messing up. Because uh, on hard mode, you can actually not like hit her because she does the things where she rolls behind you and stuff. But you do three waves, and then the ground explodes, and you go into this underground vault, and you say, shut up. Shut up. So here you just roll, slash. Then you want to slash these, and you go up here, slash her there. Go, ah. Gonna mess that up, but who cares? Gonna stand here, slash. Throw the knife at her, and boom, she's dead. So time's coming up in a couple of seconds, whenever the screen fades to black. So we're gonna pick up the head, scan her head on the door so the vault opens, and then time ends in three, two, one, now. Woo. Nice. That was terrible. So you can see the game sort of ranks you with these medals, yeah? So we've got the silver medal, which is bad, the gold medal, which is, is alright, you know? <laughs> The platinum medal, which means you did it without dying oh, on a gold medal pace. And then the bronze medal, which means that you should quit speedrunning and 
retire and like go live on a farm upstate. I see. So that was uh, Katana Zero, action only, knife only. Uh, yeah. Also, not hard you mode. went underestimate. So also underestimate. Twenty-eight minutes. That's a terrible time. But who cares? It who was cares? funny exactly. with yeah. the, the meme and the swords. I'm I'm Yisk. Um, this is uh, Cryfor. Cryfor. Thank you for having us. UKSG. Shout out to Katana Zero and the game. Buy it. Buy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Haha. Uh Haha. -huh. Uh -huh.